Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is your general love reading and the questions I will be answering are What happened in the past? How do they feel about you now? What are their intentions for you now? And the potential outcome for August 2020. If you want to support me, you can buy me a coffee in the link in the description. Thanks a lot, I highly appreciate your support. Now let's get started. Let's first shuffle three times the cards. For Cancer, please, for the month of August 2020. Second shuffle. For the sign of Cancer, please. What happened in the past between Cancer and their ex-partner, please? What happened in the past between Cancer and their ex-partner, please? There was commitment between you two, or you were thinking about uh, commitment, getting serious about the relationship. Let's see two other cards. Death card. Ace of Pentacles. Let's see why the Ace of Pentacles, please. Okay. And why the Death card, please. So, I get it. In the past, between uh, you, Cancer, and your ex, there was potential for marriage or engagement or a commitment, serious commitment. And one of you, I sense it is you, made an offer to the other partner to start something new again. Maybe there were some problems before. But uh, the other person was bored and refused the offer. So, as a uh, result, uh, it was uh, it was an ending to the relationship. That's why it ended. So the other partner offered love and to take things to the next step, but uh, the other partner refused, and uh, that's what ended the relationship. Let's see now. How do they feel about you, Scorpio? Now. How do the Rx feel about Scorpio now, please? Tower card. Chariot. And the Eight of Swords. They know that after the uh, destruction, after the ending of the relationship, uh, that has led them very uh, stressed out and they don't know how to move things forward uh, in their life or if they want to give another chance to you. So they are feeling stuck, trapped in their head, thinking a lot and uh, it seems to me like uh, that ending hasn't uh, been felt very good from their part. Also, why the chariot card, please, here? Queen of Cups. Yes, they want to move things to a stable partner now, to a partner that offers love. But they are a lot in, uh, in their head. They know that it's very difficult to, to move forward now, and they don't seem to make any action for the time being. Now let's see the other question. What are their intentions for you now? The Strength card. Ten of Cups. 
Six of Pentacles. Yes, they want to find strength to come with you, to be with you, because they know that uh, uh, what you offered was real and they see a, a happy ending with you. And they know that uh, if the relationship is a two-way relationship, it will work out. Now they want to be vulnerable and uh, to offer uh, a relationship with you. They want to find strength to talk to you. And let's see what is the potential outcome for cancer for the month of August 2020, please. What is the potential outcome? Two of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Wands in the reverse. A lot of thinking, no communication, in fact, I do not want to give you false promises. In August, don't expect communication from them. And they are thinking a lot about weighing options. Should they should I contact you or not? Should I pursue you or not? So for the time being, uh, there uh, there is no communication in August and a lot of thinking and stress about uh, the connection. So Cancer, uh, this was your reading. Uh, I hope it helped. If you want to support me, you can buy me a coffee. There is a link in the description and also let me know in the comments if uh, this story resonated with you. Until the next video, I wish you good luck and uh, bye for now.